It's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an Adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Aw, oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So... what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over here we have... nothing. And over there, more nothing. Hey! Just what do you think you're doing? So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what, exactly? Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Ha! <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the Treasure Hoarders! Old man, this area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an Adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Here! <laughs> 
Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Oh, yeah, that! So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adeptus beast as Chi-Chi put it. Uh, which means... A Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a Coco Goat, and review our next step. Good idea. We did our best, and that's what counts.
Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adeptibeast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Coco goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adeptabeast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Huh? <sighs> I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Liyue proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. No. Im... Impossible. Seems Chi-Chi took this pretty hard. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Hyman thought Chi-Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi-Chi. Ah! The medicine... The snake is speaking! <laughs> I prefer to stay silent. But faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chung Sheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi-Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Whew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million mora. Top quality. Guaranteed. Aw, oh, too bad the Chi-Sing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm... Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number! We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? <laughs> Coco goat! Coco goat! <laughs> my sides hurt! Oh my goodness! I cannot believe you fell for that! Hey! Less laughter, more sympathy! <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Ah, uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. 
In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. That's like zero difference from 3 million! Hmm. 2,990,000. Also an innocuous number in and of itself, though practically speaking, it is a whole 10,000 less than the original sum of 3 million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, Little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo saying goes, the walls have ears. This is good. There will be coconut milk from now on. Yes, it's good. What an odd exchange we've had. Well, I look forward to your patronage in the future as well. <laughs> that sound is the laughter of a man who's found new people to fleece. Consider yourselves warned. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the Everlasting Incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Ooh, finally! Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Odd. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided to treat you to a meal. Oh, ah, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor, at third round knockout. <laughs> 